I came for a delivery. Hello, I'm Asimo, and it is a pleasure to meet you. Let's shake hands to remember your visit. Thank you very much. It's always been a dream of mine to build robots. I'm definitely optimistic about the future for robotics itself and all technology. There's so much opportunity. Atlas is at the bleeding edge, the forefront of technology, and it's one of the most interesting things that I think exists today. It's great to imagine a future where robots are truly autonomous. That's so far away, it's very difficult to think that we're going to get there in the near future. 
The key to our system is to create a collaboration between the robot and a human operator, because the operator truly understands what needs to be done. It's not full autonomy, but it's also not fully teleoperated by the operator. There are certain things the robot can do that the operator could never do on their own, such as balancing. The DARPA challenge includes multiple tasks in the areas of mobility and manipulation for humanoid robotics. Our team consists of a collaboration between industry and academia. Our partners are the University of Pennsylvania and Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. Having both students and senior engineers on our team really brings a lot of different perspectives to the table. A lot of people with uh, opinions that are strong in one area versus opinions that are in another area, and it really makes a stronger product in the end. Working with this amazing group of people is, is great because it's, it's like a second education. I never would have imagined that you know, three years ago I was a master's student and now I'm an engineer working at Lockheed Martin working with this amazing robot. The cooperative autonomy approach that we're using is applicable to a wide variety of autonomous systems. There are unmanned aerial vehicles, and unmanned ground vehicles, and unmanned underwater vehicles that can be used all over the world, even for scientific uh, applications. During the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant disaster, there were events where if a autonomous system could have turned a valve or provided information to human operators, the course of events may have been altered and a lesser degree of damage could have been done. Because of this challenge, we are seeing a lot more interest in creating new humanoid platforms, and that's a great thing. That brings a lot more opportunity for people to create useful behaviors to be employed on a variety of different platforms and used all over the world. Maybe 15, 20 years from now, we'll have robots that are based from this type of competition. The technology is being developed, and this is the first step to actually moving forward into a greater age of robotics.
Yes. What is that thing lying on the ground? Hello now, 41.
have you seen my Roberta? Uh. I don't know. I am sorry. Ouch. Sorry. I am okay. I suppose I should get up. That's better. Goodbye. See you soon.